like to introduce our next guest. Uh, it's the Rhode Island General Treasurer, Mr. Seth Magaziner. Thank you, Bill, for your leadership in this very difficult time. I, I know it's challenging, uh, but thank you to Bill Brackett. Thank you uh, to Pat Crowley from the AFL-CIO, one of the strongest advocates for working people in the state of Rhode Island, uh, to Senator Reid. Uh, but mostly thank you to all of you. You are the very best of Rhode Island. You keep our economy going. You make our arts and culture scene the envy of the country. You bring people here to Rhode Island. And you are the very best of us. And now, in this time of turmoil, it is on us in government to say that we see you, we appreciate you, we support you, and we have your back. So, as Senator Reid said, and as Bill said, we all need to advocate to expand unemployment benefits for the duration of this crisis, to make sure that we cover health care for those who are unemployed, to make sure that we invest in our arts and cultural organizations to keep them alive in these difficult times, because we will get through this, and when we get through this, we want to make sure that our arts and culture scene and all of you come back stronger than ever. So, I want to ask all of you, let's make sure that we send Jack Reed back to the United States Senate on election day so that he can continue to fight for us in Washington. I know David Cicilline's coming. We've got to send him back in November as well. They get it, and not enough people down there do. So I'm just here to say that we are with you, we see you, we appreciate you, and we have your back. Hang in there, everybody, and thank you for making Rhode Island a great place. Thank you.